Hey guys, it's Preet here. This is a solo video, but Vanita is off screen here. And Hi. she's gonna be asking me a bunch of questions about what it was like um, pretty much moving to Los Angeles. So hope you guys enjoy this. It's a different perspective. She's gonna ask a bunch of questions. I'm gonna give my response. Enjoy. Okay, here, here we go. go. Here we go. Here, here we go. go. Um, Born and what, raised. What thoughts did you have of California? Growing up, California was an oasis. I was I was born in 84, so big into like 80s movies, early 90s. So California, it always looked warm, but the one feeling I always had of Los Angeles, I even expressed this to you, Vanita, is I always felt like it was lonely. Like just a lot of concrete, empty streets. But then she explained to me, people wake up early and go to sleep early because they enjoy the day. It's just like seeing this like beautiful palm tree haven and always wanting to be there and wanting to go there because of the weather and being able to wear shorts and stuff like that, so. All right, cool. So you have just fallen in love with this girl, me. That's up to debate, but go. <laughs> you have made a decision to quit your job, sell your things, and pack up a car and drive across the country and live in a completely new environment. One that you've only seen, you know, on trips or on TV or whatever. So what's going through your mind? You know, are you, I'm sure you're scared, you're nervous, but give us some details. Um, it's extreme, right? It's extreme to uh, fall in love to sit with someone. I mean, it's, it's, it's fearful, you know? You don't, you don't wanna fail in life, but you can't fail if you don't try, right? Yeah. So the option is failing or succeeding, but... Were you excited at all? I think I was excited about the proposition of living a new life. The East Coast is a very miserable place to be, only in the sense that the weather makes it miserable. In the spring and summertime growing up and even in college and when you're working, you're having a great time because the weather is so nice and there's so many activities to do and usually you're free. What's going through your head? You're about to quit your job and sell your furniture and drive across this, the country, you know, just for, for a person, like for a new life. Like what's, are you excited? How are you feeling? Hell yeah, I'm afraid. I'm afraid of failing. I'm afraid did I make the wrong decision? But how can you go through life not trying? Okay, so how about quitting your job? Like, how do you feel about that? Like, do you feel stable, unstable, saying goodbye to your friends? You've known these people for a long time. Talk about that. Obviously, quitting a job and going to a new job is scary. But like I said, I'm confident in the fact that I think that I should, I, I can make it. I bring that success from over there to here. The worst part about it is seeing how much things depreciate. You know, you buy a $5,000 sofa, you sell it for $1,300, it's a kick in the nuts. What did you learn? <laughs> the things I learned before I bought into minimalism, I will not make those mistakes now. And by that, I mean, there's no necessity to buy a $5,000 sofa when a $500 sofa does the same job. Okay, my next question is, I know you have a dog, um, what are your thoughts on uprooting his life and taking him to a beautiful new climate? I used to feel terrible for Chewy when it would rain or when it would snow and he had to be in those conditions. The other thing I felt terrible about was when we did have free time to do anything, it would usually just be more walks. So to go to a place, an oasis like California where it's sunny every day, once in a while it rains, uh, that he can go on long walks and he can have all of these new experiences. Like he's got the other half of his life. So why not enjoy the other half of his life in a nice area? Um, the other benefit is I knew that I was coming to be with you and I knew that you love animals. So I knew that you would take care of him like a really good mom would and you've done that. So I'm Aww, happy about that. Shucks. Yep. I'm still not doing the dishes by the way. You are a guy who likes sports cars and driving manual, mm. and you used to have a specific car, but can you tell us about what you did with that car and what car you have now? I had a BMW that I was financing, a little one series. I traded in and leased a Dodge Durango GT, which looks badass, 
Um, I wanted a more comfortable car, but I wanted to have a family car because I knew that I had Vanita and uh, her parents and you know her her siblings. So I wanted I wanted a car that we all could go around in and you know they can hop in the back seat. And the funny thing is, like a month after we got here, we actually needed to use seven seats. My final question to you is. To anybody watching this video, you know, if they're going through a similar situation, give them some advice. Like, what do you think, if they're like, you know, if they're on the edge, if they're like, should mm -hmm. we go, should they make the move or not? Can you just talk a little bit about that? Move. Make sure that you feel comfortable enough to move though. So if you're running away from something, it's not the best idea to move. You have to fix that before you can move. If you're moving to something new and better, do it. I also have a question about finances. So can you talk a little bit about how much you recommend somebody should save up, whether they're single or in a relationship or, you know, just go into that a little bit. I mean, my whole thing is that you should always have, you know, a year's worth of rent. Sometimes that's easier said than done. Um, that was the benefit I have of selling all my stuff. Um, you know, you accumulate a lot of stuff when you live in an apartment for nine years. So I tried to sell as much as I could and saved as much as I could because I knew that when I was starting out here, it was going to be a little bit challenging. Save as much as you can and give yourself time. Give yourself, you know, the six, six months to one year of planning before you just move. You know what your expenses are. You need to have that amount of money. You have to make sure you have that amount of money for duration of your choosing. Would you ever go back to New Jersey? No. No. Is there anything that you do miss, whether it being a food or a type of anything that you miss in New York or New Jersey? The only thing I miss in New Jersey is my familiarity with it. I knew how to get from one place to another. Thank you so much. And finally, can you just name like 29 things that are amazing about me? No. Just kidding. Thanks, babe.